Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are considering how to convert a decimal number into a binary number. So dear students, consider an example. The example is convert the number 25 into its binary equivalent. So as we all know, the decimal number are the most common number system in our real life or daily life. So converting this decimal number to any other system, what we have to do is continuously divide that particular decimal number with the base of which number system what we have to convert. So here we are converting a decimal number into a binary number. So what we have to do is the base of binary number is 2. So we have to divide continuously the decimal number with the base value 2 until the quotient will become 1. So consider our example. Our example is 25. If you are converting this 25 into a binary number, we have to divide this number by 2. 25 divided by 2 will result in 12 with a reminder 1. If you are dividing 12 with 2, the result will 6 with a reminder 0. And if you are dividing 6 by 2, we will get 3 with the reminder 0 and when dividing 3 by 2 we will get 1 as a result with the reminder as 1. So the decimal number 25 can be read or converted in binary as 1 1 0 0 1. So the order of taking the binary is from the last quotient to the first reminder. So the most significant bit is the last quotient what we get and the least significant bit is the first reminder what we get. So the equivalent is written as 1 1 0 0 1 to the base 2. So while converting a decimal number into a binary number what we have to do is continuously divide that decimal number with the base value 2 of the binary continuously until we will get the quotient as 1 and the most significant bit will be the last quotient 1 and the least significant bit will be the first reminder 1. In this order we are taking the final result 11001. So let us consider another example and the example is the number 168 to the base 10 is converting to the binary equivalence. So when converting 168, what we have to do is divide this 168 by 2. The answer will be 84 with the reminder 0. So divide again 84 by 2, we will get 42 with the reminder 0. When 42 is dividing by 2, we will get 21 with the reminder 0. When 21 is dividing by 2, we will get 10 with the reminder 1. When 10 is divided by 2, we will get 5 with the reminder 0. When 5 is divided by 2, we will get 2 with the reminder 1. And finally, when 2 is divided by 2, we will get 1 with the reminder 0. So the final answer will be or the binary equivalent number will be 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 0. So the answer will be 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 0 to the base 2. So this is how we are converting a decimal number into its binary equivalents. Let us consider one more example. Our example is 256 to the base 10. So when converting 256, we will divide this 256 by 2. The answer will be 128 with the reminder 0. When 128 is dividing by 2, we will get 64 with the reminder 0. And 64 is dividing by 2, we will get 32 with the reminder 0. And 32 is divided by 2, we will get 16 with the reminder 0. And 16 is dividing by 2, we will get 8 with the reminder 0. 
when 8 is divided by 2 we will get 4 with the reminder 0 when 4 is divided by 2 we will get 2 with the reminder 0 and finally when 2 is divided by 2 we will get 1 with the reminder 0 and the final answer will be 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 and 0 1 followed by 8 zeros so the number 256 to the base 10 can be written as 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 and 0 to the base 2 so my dear students this is how we are converting a decimal number into its binary equivalent. So my dear students, kindly go through these assignment questions. The questions are convert the following numbers into its binary equivalents. The numbers are, the decimal numbers are 69, 1024, 1024 and 141. So dear students, in the upcoming lecture, we will discuss about how to convert a fractional decimal number into its binary equivalent. See you soon. Until then, goodbye. Thank you and all the best.